Aquarius, Aquarius, welcome. Bring it into a general read for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've still got some stuff going on with my chest and lungs right now. Uh, it's been kind of nasty. But let's get into a general read for you. Uh, right now we're looking at a current energy of the Three of Wands. And what I'm seeing with that is that there's this kind of ships coming in type of thing where you can finally see a direction that you want to head in. This direction has a couple of different elements to it. One, we have the Knight of Cups. So you're wanting, possibly you're wanting, or there is um, an exchange of love messages going back and forth. With the Magician here, it kind of feels like this is something you finally manifested in your life. And what it does is it brings in a, a solidity or a stableness that might not necessarily have reared its head before. Wow. Um, owie, owie, owie. Uh, sorry, I just scratched a... Owie. And it hurts. Um, <clears throat> with the King of Pentacles here, this is somebody that you've brought in. And it's... Um, or maybe this is the individual that you brought in, is this King of Pentacles. This actually feels like somebody that is slightly older than you, but they are incredibly worldly. And I don't mean that in like, oh, they're just like out there playing, they've got fancy cars, all of that type of stuff. They understand the rules, is what I wanna say. The interesting thing is that we have the strength card showing up for us in a desire. And what I get is that you're hoping you're a match for this person. That they see you as an equal or at least that they don't look down on you for possibly an experience. And when you look at this, we see the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords. So we can see that this does stress you out to some degree. Now, the outcome is the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. And you may try to project that this individual is a player when they really are not. They're coming across as this King of Pentacles. But it's almost like you project that they're a player. And it's like, no, that's your opinion of them. But it, are they really? I kind of get that you're this in and out energy, this king of wands, where you're like, you know what? I don't have to put up with this stuff. So the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Death card, you change this. This is a really good thing that you have going on. Maybe you don't like the stability of it. Maybe that this person isn't so emotionally up in the air with drama and everything else like that. You know, you hear people, I don't like the drama. I don't like the drama. But in reality, they do. Why? Because it triggers those emotions that feels like love. And that's how they experience that. <clears throat> we see the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is something worth working on for the long term. Six of Pentacles and the Death card. But there's generosity in this back and forth, but somebody goes and changes it. You know, Knight of King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. For some of you, you could be leaving a King of Wands for this other person. So this is a multiple person situation. What's working for you? Nine of Wands. Okay, you've been hurt, you've been jilted, whatever. But when you finally choose, okay, this is gonna sound wrong. This, not wrong, it's going to sound harsh. When you choose to fuck off from this, there's a lot of regrets. You have a lot of regrets around this. Because with the Seven of Swords, you're like, they weren't what I thought they were, or I thought they were cheating, or something didn't add up, and I don't get that for this person. <clears throat> what you need to be aware of is the wheel, followed by the Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords. Things are changing, but that stresses you out. 
you know, things are moving in a different direction. Maybe something that you're not used to. And what you really need to do is stop reacting to it and really start to look at it objectively. The Three of Swords. Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. Somebody breaks this off. Somebody breaks this off because they're tired of dealing with it. Um, seriously? It comes in a text. Okay? I hate that because it's been done to me and I hate it. Um, somebody does it via text. And then there's like this flurry of texting back and forth that somebody wants to get back together with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. I was wrong, and they come bursting back in. And so, <laughs> this isn't my read, but it's really hit me close to the bone because this has been done to me and I fucking hate it. Excuse my language. And when they come back in, there's this whole thing of like, okay, they're waiting and seeing. This could be you, this could be them. Waiting and seeing how this turns out, how it happens. And they're really going in and looking at things going, hey, you know what? I really gotta give this some thought. I'm not sure if I really wanna get back together or whatever because of all of this stuff that's going on. <clears throat> and, you know, cause they're wondering if they're better off alone. This is not a good read, Aquarius. I'm sorry. This is just what's coming out, and I'm just, I'm just putting forward what's coming in, out of there. And some of this stuff is not normally stuff I would say. So that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week. I hope this smooths out for you. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.